guys welcome to today's video today is Friday lots of stuff planned for today I am sweating buckets just being in the house and we have air conditioning when I step outside it's an oven holy heck I'm not I'm surprised that the camera lens didn't fog up when I stepped outside that's how hot it is that is like one of the world's most impressive weeds of earth it's kind of pretty though like isn't it massive it's massive we have lilies growing in our weed garden. Holy heck, it is hotter than heck out here. So I actually need to be doing grocery shopping right about now, but I might just send Sam because I have so many other things that I have to get done. I got a puppy tangled up in electric fence. We still need to make this into a field. This is gonna be a field for the horses. A huge field. So we have Chino out here on grass for an hour a day. Somehow I got it into my head that the grass, eating grass will help heal his bruises a little better because grass is all kinds of healthy and horses are meant to eat grass. Aw, such a perfect boy. Yeah, he's like, let's go riding! Like what horse will come off grass after an hour and go to his girl just because he wants to go riding? First day of spring And I just want to sing To everything that's moving Every single little thing To them birds flying free Fish in the sea Flowers and trees Every little bumblebee I want to sing Head off. He's coming up behind Chino. Oh, good okay. job. Lots of fresh water for the ponies today. We're gonna give them a couple more hours on hay on grass and then we're going to move them inside. The bugs are the worst they've ever been and they're still not like crazy bad, but they actually have bugs on them and because of this heat i think and also i don't want them out in this heat like they don't enjoy it i don't enjoy watching them not enjoy it so they're gonna go in to the barn sorry about your luck buddy and with the barn they have grass yeah there's a little bit of grass in the back there too definitely no riding today although i mean taking our ponies for a little walk and stuff like that that they're not really um, breaking out of sweat I think that's okay. There's a little bit of a breeze. Let's ride Chino Bearback on a trail. You want to ride Chino Bearback on a trail? He yeah. probably like that. Holy heck! All the grass is gone! Remember how much grass was out here? We've been putting the big horses out here. It's gone. So I'm coming down here to make sure that the pool's ready because we are actually having guests over, special guests. I had to cut the grass. Super annoying, but the water is so hot. Way hotter than the beach. Little bit of sand in the bottom because our pump broke, like I told you. So as Sam went to the store, okay, so we bought the pool. The pump broke in minutes, like within a week, the pump that came with the pool broke. So as Sam went online, went to Walmart and bought a really nice sand pump for this kind of pool. Love it lasted a week we didn't touch it we didn't do anything to it. it just stopped working so i don't know if you have to turn these things off at night or what the heck so he went out and bought another pump the same as the sand pump because he really want a sand pump but the same and he's going to pick it up today and then we're going to add water which is going to make this pool cold that's okay because in this heat we need a little bit of cold let's check it out let's check it out 80 degrees. It says it's 80 degrees, but it's hot. Kind of like we carved out this big area in the middle of a farmer's field to put our pool. So every time I have to, so every time we want to use the pool, I have to like really come out here and clean the way, cut everything down again. There's the ponies. There's my ponies. Oh my goodness, everything's fogging up. Hi, you want me to come out there and spend some time with you? Hi. 
I know, it's hot. Are you hot? They were running away from the lawnmower. I know. So this, see how the flies are starting to come now? With this extreme heat. Maybe that's why we don't have that many flies in Canada like I've seen at other places. We don't have that much extreme heat. We've had 11, 12 days now. 12 days of extreme heat. Listen, I will give you carrots if you don't kick. You cannot kick anybody. All right, these are the rules. I want to show the world that you can control a pony by kindness. So be kind. See, I gave them the rules. She's not kicking. Oh my gosh, you just shoved that whole carrot in your mouth. Piggy girl. Ah, oh, remember, have to be kind or else the world is gonna think that it's okay to hit horses. It's okay to use corporal punishment on horses. Let's prove everybody wrong, don't fight. Get out of here fast before they prove me wrong. Good ponies. Good pony. Yeah, you're such a good pony. She's like, I don't care about you. I just care about your food. One of my favorite things to see is a horse running free in a pasture when they've been like cooped up. So today I want to put all the ponies, our two ponies, in the horse's field and see what they do when we bring the horses in. I want to see, I love watching Gracie. Last year we put her in the horse, the big field. She was running like a crazy girl. My plan is to use this big bad beauty today too. I have a question for you. Did you clean your stall today? You need to do that. Gabby, did you clean your stall? Oh, well the ponies made a mess of the stalls. You guys got to just muck out Why a little bit. In there? Cause they go in there in the daytime. I got the broom this time. I have the broom. Nobody's getting past me. Daddy, you don't even try. Don't even, please don't try me. Good girl. She's like, I'll go. Be gentle. Be gentle with my pony. Waiting for me. Yeah, she's a good girl. All right. Ready to get out of the sun, handsome boys. All the flies. All the flies. I'll get it. Gabby will get it. The flies were actually horrible out there. They followed us all the way here. We've been really blessed so far, hardly to have any flies. And now with the heat wave, the flies, holy heck, they just came to us. So, oh, we're gonna take the minis. We're gonna take the ponies out. Put them in the horses field, yeah. This is like heat, energy zapping heat. So uh, the girls are gonna so work I'm on their. Tell them off soon. Are you gonna swim in your bikini today? And so you can get a tan. Uh, no, a bikini. Well, she's got a bikini that Kaylee found for her in her drawer. She made for her. What? I've got no treats. The treat is that the you're out of the flies. I learned that, or I read that horses that are like pounding ground all the time, like whether they're riding outside, whether they're um, pounding like from stomping and stuff. Like even Brandon told me that some of his horses are lame from all the stomping. Look at the jealousy in that look. Look, he's jealous, Gabby. We throw our halters down here because Chino likes to eat everything. Gracie's halter, put it down there. Because he reaches there. Yeah, he's an eater. <laughs> All right, we got him. We need a Libra. Okay, so who wants to see some ponies running free? Running free and enjoying life. It's not gonna last for long, but we're gonna let them the have a run. There's Willow's halter. Just leave oh. the halter on Willow. Yeah, leave the halter on Willow because we might not catch her in the field. Do you guys remember the last time we put the horses in the field, the girls? They had Stella, the middle one. They had Stella with her, with them. And they all just ran and ran and ran. To the kids playing hoops, going loop de loop. Their rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet in the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row like a little marching band. And they sing ooh. To the carnivals in love and the seagulls above. 
than any other living thing or creature I can think of. I want to sing. Ooh, I want to sing. family in a car with kids stopped alongside the road so they, they could watch Gracie running and they rolled down their windows and their kids were freaking out and I screamed do you want to come and see them but they didn't hear me and then they drove off when I started walking toward them and I reminded me of all the times that we used to stop with our kids along the side of the road so they could look at horses running and see them. We decided we're gonna feed the girls out here, put their food underneath the tree because they're smart and they go underneath the trees and let them stay out here for a few hours because they're really loving it. It's nice to see them running. It's nice to see uh, Gracie run. I scared a bunny. There's a bunny right behind me. Scared the heck out of me too. Um, I would love to do 24 hours in the horse field. I didn't know how we would do it before, but there's like such a great spot right here underneath these trees. What if I set up a tent? and fenced off an area that the horses can come out here. Oh, I'm gonna put a chair up here. It's like glorious, beautiful, windy. It's so nice. I have to watch for that video. I think it might be coming soon. If there is something we need. All right, Sophie, bravest girl on earth. What? No. Well, you're brave too. It's, it's, is it braver to just be brave or is it braver to be scared and conquer the fear? Be brave. It's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own. It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dead If you have the will and the moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there It can be a bit frightening It's something you don't know You need a little enlightening It'll make you grow I was not into driving. I was nervous to drive. I was nervous to do anything that had like a life or death consequence if you didn't do it well. And I didn't get my license till I was 36 years old. So, and Sophie's a lot like me in that way. So it's so impressive to me to see her already at 10 learning. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the day. If you have the will and a moment to spare. Our special guests are here. I don't want you guys to know who they are yet. I'm going to surprise you in a minute with our special guests. We're getting ready to go in the pool, but our special guests are being super quiet, so you guys can't guess. But um, we're getting ready to go in the pool, and Gabby didn't hang up her bathing suit or wash it last night, so it's a bit wet still. And she can't wear a wet bathing suit, so I'm going to show you what she does with her wet bathing suit. Shh, we're going to sneak. It is Jacob. Jacob, flying Jacob. Who's this? Brooklyn. Brooklyn, jumping Brooklyn. <laughs> goofy boy and goofy girl. You guys might notice that Brooklyn is wearing one of goofy Gabby's. Nana. Goofy Nana. Who are you calling Goofy? <laughs> Me. Yeah, um, look at my kitten though. Okay, no, you guys. You're goofy. Jacob's just calling everybody names here. Uh, wait, get it out again. I didn't show them. Woo! Be careful, guys. Jacob's a whirlwind. Woo! So, wait. So, you guys might remember that that was Gabby's bathing suit last year, and it kind of is a little big, but it's fit in Brooklyn. Super cute. And you guys might remember that I bought these towels for Brooklyn when she was little. 
And then we also had the bumblebee one that go over their head, so it's good for kids. And if you guys are following us on Instagram, that Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, or what else do we have? Facebook, then you. <laughs> Then you may be missing out on the fact that we are getting a new pet. <laughs> yeah. Show it, Sophie. This is show Sophie's new pet. This is him. Isn't he the most cute kitten you've ever seen on earth? We took we took care of somebody else's cat for over a year. And now God bless us with this beautiful boy. I was against him at first, but now I'm excited. What's his name? Ollie. Ollie. <laughs> How does it feel having a brother, Brooklyn? What? How does it feel having a brother? Not good. <laughs> Not good. Yeah. Chino's out there peeing in the girls' field. I just walked in and said hi to the boys, and and Finn screamed hello to me. Isn't that adorable? Either that, or he's screaming hello to the girls who are in their field, and they're all excited and think they're going to see each other. I just needed to turn the water off for the pool. I was filling it up today. I have to get hot before I can swim in a pool. And uh, you guys can see I got an umbrella on me. Because that's just the way this old body works. Gabby saw a bee. Alright, jump in. Take off your shoes. Okay, you guys are going to pop the pool. And you're killing the kids. Stop it. Put your arm up, Brooklyn. Put your arm up. Don't puke on Jacob's head. Uh -oh. It's literally pouring. Yeah. You okay? Okay, you guys can't do that with little kids in the pool. All right, so I've gotten all the bugs, cleaned the pool, got the bumblebees out, threw the alligator out. The bumblebees were on the alligator, and if they thought it was, it was a flower, then they're color blind. Right. Uh, that's great. So we can only use the hippo and the turtle, not the alligator, because the bumblebees. The bumblebees like the green alligator. A water gun. Then you would be right because Gabby saw a bee. It's okay. Help him! Help him! Help him! Grab him! Grab him! He's drowning! Grab him! Why can't I go on Grab onto the edge? Why can't I go on any of these? <laughs> Sometimes little kids lose their their balance. What do you mean? It's annoying that bumblebees have decided to take over the pool. It's because there's not enough chlorine. We need to add more chlorine. Uh, it's a beautiful world out there. And just don't pass on the day. If you have the will and the moment to spare. that grew in the garden this year. I didn't plant it and it was not there last year. Like it just definitely was not. But look at it, it's full of, isn't it pretty? It's full of ants, but it's like a big, huge stalk. Jacob's worried about his grenade, but I assured him I still have it. Here, you look really pretty. Put Stand up close to her face and we'll try and do a, a pretty, hold her this way, hold this. Okay, hold that. And then say cheese, Sophie, look out. Hey, come back here. Okay, look up at her eyes again. Okay, look at me and look at her eyes. Look at her. Yeah, that's good. Okay, perfect. Okay, what? It, it, it doesn't have a remote control. It drives by itself. It doesn't have a remote control. It drives by itself? No, it didn't. It doesn't have a remote control. It drives by itself. Yeah, Nana has the cheap dump truck. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, and, and and it goes over the bridge, and if it sees can they guys, when you throw it them, it runs away, yeah, try to find it, and if we're gonna eat it. For some reason, I feel like you're talking so fast, I can't hear you. I can't understand you. All right. I smell a horrible smell. Uh oh, Jacob, watch out. Oh my gosh. Ah! Okay, it, there's a buffalo farm and a pig farm surrounding us. Uh oh. Hold it tighter, Brooklyn. Oh, good lord. Brooklyn, hold it really tight. Hold it near the edge. 
That's a girl. Now you're cooking. I'm going to slide this halter back so that it's higher up on the nose because it's too big. It's too big? Why did we get that one? To all the fans. Nana. The halter is too big. I didn't talk to you. It is a pony size because she needs a small pony size. And we didn't know that because she's a small pony. Wait, dude. And so we have to slide the halter back off of her pole where it's supposed to be in the barn, Brooklyn. Welcome to my world, so that Jacob. The nose piece doesn't go like too far low on her nose, so it goes in the right spot. Yeah. So it's not putting pressure on the wrong spot. Okay. Molly, come here. Gabby never wants to talk until I have 100 people on me. Wait, 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 Jacob. One more second, love. I just want to make sure Brooklyn's okay here because this pony can get fast. Watch your feet. Watch your feet. Very well done. Jacob, do you want to leave more? See, I told you, they're boy crazy. So well done. Do you want a chill pill? Dad needs a chill pill? Sophia wasn't here. She was helping you, so I had to leave two horses. So he took Chino. I was taking Finn and Storm because their stalls are across from each other. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. So I walked Nina. Finn into his stall. Storm is sitting in the hallway. Me. Just wait, 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 wait. Brooklyn, should we take it off yet? And I'm freaking... Wait, look at the door. Is it open? Yeah. And I'm freaking... She might go for a run, honey. Dad. You gotta close the door first. It's like... See, this is a bad idea. It's like, excuse you, Storm standing perfectly still in the hallway. Things are fine. And if Storm was gonna go anywhere, he'd go into his stall. Oh, not closed. Gabby says you need a chill pill. Closed. Nana. Uh oh. Nana, I I just turned it on and it and, and I just pressed the button and it just. Who wants to feed? Hey, who wants to feed who? Uh-oh. I want to feed Gracie. We'll put the hay in the field. Okay, I just want to watch the dump Take truck Take this and walk over there. Can I? I just stopped it. Oh, Gracie. I'm going to walk it somewhere else. Yeah, let's take the dump truck out of the arena because I worry that the ponies will get hurt, honey. All right, good job, Brooklyn. Brooklyn asked me for a drink before we did the ponies, and I said, Brooklyn, all farm girls have to wait oh, and suffer. Oh yeah, there's water in the yeah, fridge. Let's go. let's go get water. We might have to bring a couple up. Yeah, bring one from Nana too. It's a beautiful world out there. Just don't pass on the dare. I um, there's a special way when I'm to um help you when you cut onions for your when you, you just cry when you cut onions. Um there's a special way you have to put bread bread in your mouth and it stops the tears. Wow, oh, that's super cool. All right, so we are gonna end today's video. I just wanted to tell you guys that we have a lot of videos coming out this week if you're interested. We have uh, some videos that Gabby and Kaylee shot. They're uh, scary, scary. We're getting to the age now where they have their own ideas, their own plans, their own sense of humor, their own sense of everything. And they shot a couple of videos together, one for each of their channels. I don't even know what's on there. Super scary. Um, no, who passed me that? Ew, dirty. What are you doing? I think you're supposed to do it. I think you're supposed to do it when it's empty. Oh! You're supposed to put salt in it to help it. Oh. Yeah. And then you shake it. Brooklyn, why do I feel like you watch a lot of YouTube? No, that's TikTok. TikTok. Do you watch TikTok? No, I watch like um, a show called One, Two, Three, Go, and there's a bunch of TikTok things. Mom, watch this. I did it again! Like I said, we have lots of videos coming up, and please, when you watch Gabby and Kaylee's channels and see their videos, keep in mind that they're young, that they're going out on their own, they're straying away from the nest, they're starting to really take over their own channels. Well, Kaylee already takes over her own channel. But they're starting to branch out and be a little more risky, a little bit more themselves. So keep in mind that if it gets crazy over there on Always Gabby and Painted Dreams, that that it's just them sowing their oats and figuring out who they are. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow with more fun and adventures. Remember, you're amazing, you're awesome, you're incredible, and you're beautiful just the way you are. Don't you know the